Hi everyone, welcome back to Think Science, where we're going to continue our segment on biological macromolecules. Today, we will be discussing proteins. If it's your first time here, make sure to hit that subscribe button, as well as that bell icon so you can be notified on more science videos. Before we get started, we wanted to start off with a question of the day. What is your favorite protein-filled food? Leave your answer in the comments and let us know. Also, we wanted to thank you all for your support on our last videos for carbs, lipids, and nucleic acids. If you haven't already seen those videos, you should definitely go check them out. Now, let's jump into the video. So proteins are incredibly important because they are pretty much involved in everything an organism does. They speed up chemical reactions, provide defense, transport, storage, structure, communication, movement, and many other things. The cool thing about proteins is that they all are made up of the same 20 amino acids. It's kind of like the alphabet, where we have 26 letters and we essentially just scramble them to make different words. Different proteins have different ordering of those same 20 amino acids to make a variety of proteins that all have different functions. So before we start talking about how all these amino acids make a protein, let's talk about the amino acids on their own. All 20 amino acids have the same basic structure that you can see here. They all have this carbon in the center with a hydrogen branching off, a carboxyl group, and an amino group. All of these things are going to be the exact same for each amino acid. Now this R group is what is going to make each amino acid different from each other. While all amino acids will have an R group, they all have structures that differ. This R group is what determines the chemical and physical properties of the amino acids. Here's a chart for all of the different amino acids, and they are categorized based on their properties. You can pause the video here to look at them, and I have also included a link for this chart in the video description. So now, in order to make a protein, these amino acids are going to form a chain. The order of these amino acids in this chain is very important because it will ultimately define how the protein folds and what shape it takes. The initial chain is going to look like this just a string of amino acids. This is called the primary structure. These amino acids are connected together with peptide bonds. Then this chain is going to coil and hydrogen bonds will form between the peptide bonds. It's important to note that the hydrogen bonds are not forming between the R groups, but instead between the peptide bonds that hold the amino acid chain together. Now that the chain is all coiled up and the R groups are closer together instead of in that linear position, bonds are going to start forming between the R groups. R groups are going to bind to other R groups that are complementary to their chemical properties. For example, a polar R group is not going to go bind to another polar R group. Instead, it is going to bind to another R group that is nonpolar. This attraction and repulsion between different types of R groups are going to make the protein bend in different ways in order to bind correctly and this affects the shape of the protein. This structure is called the tertiary structure. Some bigger proteins have a quaternary structure in which two or more of the tertiary structures will come together and make one big protein. Proteins can also be denatured if a protein is placed in an unfavorable environment where factors such as pH, temperature, salt concentration, etc. are not ideal for the protein, the bonds that hold the protein together can break and change the structure of the protein. This loss of structure means that the protein will not be able to function properly. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more science videos. If this video made sense, leave a comment to let us know and also be sure to leave any questions about proteins and we will do our best to answer. Thank you for watching. Think Science.